Here's example two. One, two. Hey, welcome back. My trusty stand-in. Um, welcome back to What's Up Tiger... What? Did I say What's Up Tiger Lily? I've got Woody Allen on my brain. Because you know what? I decided to add a feature, a segment to 4 Minute Max. Thank you for coming back, by the way. You saw me at my worst, so it can only get better. Um, I've decided to add a segment um, uh, where I will watch a Woody Allen movie every week. Because I have shaken the pasty hand of Woody Allen and read and have every one of his books, but I've never actually watched all of his movies. So I've decided to go through his list of films chronologically, starting from the first movie he ever made, which is What's Up Tiger Lily, in 1966. So every week I will be talking about, or at least referencing, a Woody Allen movie um, from his list of, uh, his endless list of movies. Now as we all know, Woody Allen isn't dead. Um, and, um, but I've also decided to add a segment that honors the dead or, you know, cause we lose people every week and aging, we have to admit it, it's a total bitch, but it has to be worse being dead. Last week, you may know we lost Gore Vidal, one of America's most flamboyantly offensive playwrights and writers and, and media personalities and a very, um, I think a very, very interesting figure and it was sad to see him go but he did live a very healthy, wonderful life and quite a long one all considering. Gore Vidal often insisted that everybody is naturally bisexual. My theory, which I'll go into in greater depth at a later date, is that twins and left-handed people have a greater propensity to be bisexual. I suspect Gore Vidal was left-handed. And I might make a call to somebody who knew him and ask if he knows or can confirm that. Today we're going up to the Flatiron District to see some friends who've set up a mobile television station. And Pee Wee, you're not coming. In a few moments, we are going to be joined by a most extraordinary woman. She's not just a woman, she is a goddess. She is Aphrodite, the goddess of love herself. She is going to join us in her giant clamshell, in her giant television, and she's going to be interviewing local people like yourselves about love. Now, are you in love at the moment? I am in love with my husband, Jason. I am in love with my new baby Kai, and I am in love with my job at the Museum of Sex. Triple love! I love it! That's fantastic! Have you ever done this before? Is this a new adventure for you? I've, I've gone with other people. I've never gone by myself. You're a little scared? Oh yeah, there's things that can kill you out there. <laughs> you have to be able to trust somebody. So hilarity. Okay, hang on here. Any funny ladies out there today? Funny? There's one. There's one. Yeah. Any other funny ones? Oh, there's one. What's your name? My name's Moira. Moira. And so you're just sort of out and about, having a nice day, just a bit hot, took the top off. Yes, exactly. Fab, you've got great boobs, Thank so, you. you know, get them out and show them. Anyone else who wants to take their tops <laughs> off, feel at home, feel welcome. You know, we're in a public space, but we've also got a lot of freedom here. And just so you know, it's legal for women to be completely topless in public. Anywhere a guy can go without a shirt in New York State. Tomorrow, actually, we're going to do Nude Love TV down here in Flatiron Plaza. So tell all your nudist friends to come on down, get naked. A woman should be able to define her own dress the way she wishes. So I'm expanding the definition of what, what breasts are. For me, they're not exclusively sexual. They're not exclusively commercial. For me, my breasts can be um, on display in non-sexual context.